Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. It's Mark from Microsoft. It's time once again for Certification Exam Rapid Training, or CERT, the place where you get more stuff and less fluff to get you ready rapidly for your Microsoft certifications. My team of trainers had delivered many one-hour sessions in the past at both internal and external Microsoft conventions. But ever since they went virtual, these certification readiness sessions are no longer offered at those conventions. So we went back and opened up those recipe books and are now cooking up some new readiness recipes for you to enjoy. And now that these are on YouTube, you can listen to these distilled sessions as many times as you would like on a lunch break, while walking the dog, on your favorite exercise machine, or even for bedtime stories for the kids. Why not get them started early in this great career in the cloud? This time we'll focus on the AZ-305 exam, which is in beta right now, but will soon replace other exams. We'll review that in a few seconds. But in this introductory module, we're going to do a very quick overview of what resources I use and you should use as well to search for possible exam content based on the exam objectives. Once you know these resources and how to hunt for content, you really can get ready for almost any exam, whether you're a pro or brand new to any topic. But listen to the best part of this, folks. The hardest part is finding those resources that map to every subtopic of every exam objective. But as we have prepared these sessions, this has already been done, so you don't have to. Let's take a quick look at these resources that will tell you what exams make up which related certifications. We're looking now at the aka.ms slash az-305 shortcut, which takes you to the exam objectives page. And as you see right now, it is in beta and at the top here it gives you some information about to earn the microsoft certified azure solutions architect expert <sighs> mouthful certification uh, complete the following requirements so you can either a earn the certified azure administrators associate certification which is essentially taken and passing the az-104 exam which we do have a learning path on that and passing the AZ-305 or you can pass the AZ-303 and the AZ-304 before they retire which is in March 31st or option three you can pass exam AZ-303 before it retires and AZ-305 so as you can kind of feel from this, the 305 kind of sort of is replacing the AZ-304. My recommendation is why not watch them all? If you weren't preparing for those, it will give you some extra material. So I tried to, when I make the AZ-305 uh, slides and information, I pretty much made them all from scratch. I didn't go back and reuse any old content. There may be some overlap. I don't know. I don't remember but I want to give you the latest, greatest content possible to get you through all that stuff. So that's the exam objectives page. Oh, let's go back here. I want to show something else is that this is of course where you schedule the exam and you have the skills measured part also, which is the, what they call the objective domain, or I kind of break it down into modules. In my case here, you see they're broken up in percentages, design identity governments and monitoring solutions, design data storage solutions, design business continuity, only 10 to 15%, probably not gonna spend much of my time there, a little bit, but not a lot, and design infrastructure solutions. So the first, second and fourth ones are pretty much almost 90% of that exam. And what you want to do, or what I've done for you already, is you download the skills outline. And this is how I build the slides. And what I do is I go through each and every one of these things, and I'll do a search in design application architecture and try to find caching solution for applications. Or I, what I do is I start off and look at Thomas Moore's blog, which I've linked for you. He's done a lot of these, but I found that sometimes he, he might've missed a couple, or I may have found something a little bit different. Uh, they're, they're both useful. And in my blog, I have links to his blog, as well as I'll be adding my links, uh, which you'll be seeing in the next couple of weeks here. This is what I use to kind of build up um, my content, and this is how we build these sessions. So that's the secret sauce. There, you got it. But again, we do most of that work for you. And then on my blog, which is aka.ms slash 
AZ-305 study guide, or if you forget that, just aka.ms slash Mark Grimes, and you'll find all my study guides and some of my previous slides and stuff like that. So here I have the AZ-305 link to the exam objectives. I'll also link the video um, once all the sessions have been published in the next few days. Here is Thomas Moore's blog also, which we have referenced right there. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of fill in the blanks with the rest of the bullets in there and get those out to you. So as you hear me in each of the modules talking about um, get the get your links on my blog, uh, this is the blog and it's on the study guide, which you see right here in the lower right hand corner. So please make note of those URLs, the exam objectives, my blog, where I'll be updating those resources I'm using. And if you want to share this and all of our other cert sessions, just send them the aka.ms slash YouTube slash cert URL, and that will get them to all the various playlists for the easy 104, the 303, the 304, the easy 500, the SC series exams that we put out and many, many more and hopefully more to come as well. I'll remind you of them as we move through the modules. Please like and subscribe so you get notifications as I publish the upcoming modules for this AZ-305 cert series. Thanks so much for watching and see you on the next video.